am Jay Rao from North, Norfolk Senior High. And this is my poem, Liquid Possession. Eyes glazed over, absent-minded smile, drinking your dinner from a can. I ask you where you went, but I guess I already know. You're locked in your mind with a cooler filled to the brim. You are in love with your disease, clinging to it like a lifeline, flooding your body with liquid possession. You think you're running from your demons, but in reality, you are inviting them into your body. Your, your addiction drowned your appetite. You went from three meals a day to three a week. Your personality got caught in the flood and carried to the drunk tank. Your eyes frozen over with apathy until the moment the case is empty and they are alight with terror. Your body is a storm of tremor seized by the torrents of withdrawal till you get your next fix. And when it hits you like a punch to the face, your well of feeling dries up. But for me, the pain is always on tap. Christy, you threw away your good sense the day you picked up a bottle of gin. You threw away your happiness the day you decided to never put it down. You threw away your life when you refused the life preserver. But what you don't get is that I didn't throw it for your sake, Grandma. I threw it for mine. When I was a little girl, you would set me up on your lap and rain fairy tales into my heart from your lips, cradling me in your adoring arms. We walked hand in hand to the animal preserve, and you would laugh as the prairie dog scurried away from my outstretched <coughs> fingertips. Then the sickness took you and dragged you away from me. I wish I could say you went down kicking and screaming, but you were floating along with the current. Then they took you to rehab, but you did not go happily. And when you were released, you came back with a vengeance, soaking yourself in your chosen poisons, drenching yourself in disillusionment. You wanted to spite them, to prove to them that they could never control you, but there was no them. It was us. It was me. It was the people who love you, trying to help you get better. We only ever wanted you to come back to us, but you never came back. You dove into a whirlpool of despair and swam into the depths of your own self-hatred. And sometimes I can't help but believe that this is all somehow my fault. I don't care if you come back to me changed. I don't even care if you come back to me damaged beyond repair. I just want you to come back at all. <coughs> I want to take paint and glitter and fill in the wrinkles of your pruny, sagging flesh so that you will look at them and laugh rather than feel such overwhelming disgust. I will gladly raise you from the ruins of your life. All you would have to do is reach out to me. But that is something that you're never going to do, isn't it?